are we gonna have a quiet? No more. Nobody's moving leagues, right? Yeah, we done with that. We co- done with that done moving with that league business. I and- sure hope so. Uh, we're we're done. We uh, we still have work to do with uh, both basketball schedules and football. And right. I think by the time Memorial Day hits in Destin, we should <laughs> know something by then, so we can start planning for thirteen and beyond. Well, let's talk about that a minute. Let, let's talk with football. Obviously, the schedule for twenty twelve is set. We understand that. But what you and your fellow athletic directors are looking at are the schedule models moving forward with a 14-team league. For example, we have heard that there's a possibility that the uh, the permanent crossover for South Carolina changes to Texas A&M and that Arkansas and Missouri may be permanent crossovers. Let me start here, Greg. Are we fairly confident now that 2013 and beyond – the permanent crossovers will remain as, you know, Georgia will play Auburn as a permanent crossover. I think he's looking better and better. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just just reading what Larry Templeton, who has really been the workhorse behind a lot of Mm -hmm. this uh, uh, transition period here, uh, Larry had some comments recently that uh, put a a strong value on maintaining those cross-section games. And so I hope is, uh, has always been to maintain that relationship with Auburn. So, we're feeling better and better, but until we actually see it down in the models and how it works and the rotation with the two teams on the west, uh, I still think there's some room for discussion there. But make you know, make no mistake that that Auburn game, of all the things we're talking about through these uh, discussions, has been a priority, as well as it has for Jay, as well as it has for been for right. Tennessee and Alabama. So there's a, a strong sentiment there by those that have those strong games.